Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 20th of 2017. As you, if you've been watching my reviews, I love uh, solar cells, LED lights, things like this. And this is one heck of an LED light. Just received it. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. The uh, one, closest one to this size that I have here is one that's in my... It's not on, by the way. I guess I should turn it on here. It's uh, in my stand here for a photo light. And... This thing looks about twice its size. Um, this also is uh, 35 watts, but it puts out the equivalent, they say, of a 180 watt incandescent bulb. Uh, what I'm worrying about is, is this going to be too heavy for my uh, photo light stand there is it going to I don't want it to come over crashing on my head so this is heavy you're going to uh, let's see they should give the weight here someplace uh, anyway it's uh, 36 watt the brightness is 4350 lumina uh, bulb life is 50,000 hours. The color temperature is 5,000 K, which is cool white. And I think I want, uh, is a warm light that I want or cool light? They, the name, what do they, uh, they put the name a different way. So I'm not sure which one this is now. Um, oh, here, let's see. The item weight is 2.2 .2 pounds. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this right here where you can, and you're going to hear me. Whoops, I don't want this to fall and break. I'm going to lay it down. And I'm not going to swing the light around. I'm just going to go take this other light out. It's, uh, you're going to see the difference of them side by side. I'm up here twisting and I don't want to drop it. I think this new bulb is going to be, you know, not only too heavy, but the way this uh, stand is made, I don't think there'll be room with the umbrella thing going through there. Here we are. Sorry to run off on you like that. Okay. Let's see if this one says how many... Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, 40 watt. I'm trying to see it. Early morning and my vision is not. So this other one, this one is 36 watts. This one, it says it's 36 watts and the equivalent of 180. This definitely is not. When this is on, this is not putting out the equi of not putting out 80 watts. I'd have to look that one up. So, oh, I should have left this in. I'm going to stop this and put this one back on. And so, well, I think we can do. 
I think we can here. Let's see. Go to Amazon. Go to orders. Go to LED bulbs. Search. October October seventh. Okay, that's okay. Here it is. Let's open this in a new tab. Open this in a new tab. Let me close. Movies, track package, crime alert, assault. Okay. Okay, well, I deleted the. Uh, so let's go. Let's go over here to Amazon and go to orders. Now go to this one. So there we have them side by side. Well, I could put it over here, but I want you to—I want you to see me, you know. Yes. So I'm going to hook this one up. It says it's. Uh, see if we can say where it see where it says it puts out the equivalent of. And it's five thousand five hundred K. Okay, I'm going to put this in and uh, turn the light on. I don't think this, this big one is, uh, unless I take the umbrella. Let me see. Out. Okay. In. Okay, that's that light is on. Huh. Man, this is this is <clears throat> okay. I'm going to remove the bulb and see how I can put this in and make sure that this stand, I guess I could give you an idea of what's going on here. Bring this over here. There we go. Need to tighten this down so it doesn't move. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to uh Because if I try to tilt the umbrella part up, I'm going to have to remove the umbrella. Well, you know, no, that still would not work. I was going to say I could go like that, but the problem is. So we're going to have to see if this is too heavy. Okay, I don't think it's going to be, a, I just don't want it coming down on, say, uh, my monitor or something. No, I don't think it'll be unless somebody comes in here and bumps into it. I do have a cat, but I'm going to turn this on now. It took a little bit for it to come on. 
Now, I guess that's not exactly a uh, fair test because we had the uh, umbrella up there. I should have taken, but. But I don't want to make this video too long. So. Well, the light color looks okay for me. I may, I don't think there's much, many different between 5,000. Uh, K light and 5,500 K light. Maybe some photography person. Oh, this is the... Uh, Got a switch here. This is the light we're using now. So it is uh, it's an E26 base, which is for U.S. homes. I'm not sure about Canada. You know the regular one that screws in. You don't need an adapter or whatever. It's nice and bright. Color color is good. I could lower it down. And it would be even a little bit brighter. I don't think I need it any brighter, and especially when I'm using these Logitech uh, USB cameras. They work in very little, very little light. But and this camera does. All my cameras do really good in low light level. Because I've been thinking about uh, starting to use this and get a new camera. And instead of using the uh, USB camera so much, use these uh, other cameras for the video. Uh, so LED corn light bulb, 36 watt, built for indoor, outdoor, wi outdoor wide area, for home and garage, factory, warehouse, High Bay Barn Porch Backyard Garden Light Garden Street Post Lighting Natural White Light Super Bright 36 Watt Bulb But it puts out the equivalent, uh, they say, of 180 Watt Incandescent Bulb it Says Excellent Heat Dissent spread durability aviation aluminum base and aluminum heat sink framework helps dissipate extends the 50,000 hour uh, life span energy saving long life says turn on instantly there was a little bit of a delay I don't think that matters So, I give it five stars. Oh, let's go here. Let's see. Let's go here again. I think I went through it, but maybe I, or did I skip here? It gives you the sizes in inches. Well, one thing, I think it puts out light all the way around, which this other one also, you know, it has on the end also. So it does also, but the other incandescent or the other LED bulbs I have don't necessarily, and this place is filled with those type of bulbs, you know, it doesn't radiate it all the sides way out so much more. It's more from the end, but I haven't had a problem with that. Uh, Thing actually looks too pretty to want to put it in a garage, you know. I live in an apartment, and uh, they're in uh, two rooms in, in this bedroom, 
and in the living room there's a fan, ceiling fan, and of course the bulb in there I have, I think I have LEDs in one and the other, it takes an adapter to get, and it has to be small, because you know there's a globe on there. And then in the kitchen there's an overhead big fluorescent uh, thing. Everything else here is LED lighting that I put in. So, I think that's it. I give it five stars. I thank you very much for watching.